Well, here's a pretty intense exchange between a university student at the University of Wisconsin and Ben Shapiro. I think Ben gets a little frustrated right here with this guy, uh, and it's you know it, it, he should because this guy just was just spouting off a bunch of uh, stuff to him. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on on Ben. I think Ben's doing a good job of going to these universities and he's teaching these kids about uh, things that I, I think they. They don't get in school the realities of life and, and what is really going on. I think college right now are just teaching these kids nothing. They're teaching them nonsense. But it looks like Ben's doing a good job of, of kind of diffusing a lot of the stuff that, that, that's being taught at these universities. So let's jump into the video. Howdy. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've heard you make multiple justifications for the carnage, the death, the despair, the now over 10,000 Palestinian people that have been slaughtered refugee camps that have been bombed with one-ton bombs, U.S.-made bombs, people picking up the body parts of their children and putting them in bags because they can't find every bit of their family's remains. And you have made the justification that it's worth it if Hamas is wiped out. I want to do a thought experiment for the audience. You push a button right now, Hamas is gone from the earth. Call it whatever you want, it's gone. What do Israeli-Palestinian relations look like? So the answer is that it... No, I'm going to tell you the answer. Well, then that's not a question. No. I ha that, that was my framing of the question. <laughs> At a certain okay, point, so the answer, as long as you get to a question mark at the end, we're good. There's a question. Okay. What Sometime the, in the near future. What, what does the West Bank look like? <laughs> who administers the West Bank? You know, I got the question. It's the Palestinian Authority who cooperates. They're docile. They work with the Israeli government. In what, and what way? And what do you see in the West Bank? Day in, day out, ethnic cleansing. Uh, People getting kicked out of their homes. In the middle of the night, the it, Israeli Defense Force. Is the there Orwellian, a listen, okay. there no, are questions I know, coming no. very soon, sir. I, I appreciate your time. Listen, people being pulled out of their homes, watching their homes demolished while their children cry. Where's the question? Ben's gonna, he's gonna get fired up here. He, you can see the steam coming out of his ears right now with this guy. The question is, do Palestinians have the right to defend themselves? So, can I ask a, a quick counter question? If by Palestinians defending themselves, is Hamas a terrorist group? Sure. Should Hamas surrender tomorrow? It's not for me to say. <laughs> okay, so. Should, here, should Israel so here's, stop so, 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 no, one no, 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 Hold on, hold on a second. No, 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 no. no. You, you got to talk for, for several minutes and spew complete bullshit. So now it's my turn. So, because that's how this works. This is a dialogue. This is a dialogue. No, so let me explain, okay? Yeah, Here is my perspective. My perspective on this is very clear, which is that what, ha what is happening right now in Gaza is horrific and a tragedy, and every ounce of blood that is being spilled is on Hamas. Hamas initiated this conflict. There was a ceasefire all the way up till October 6th. On October 7th, they stormed into Israel, murdered 1,500 people, and took 200 people hostage back into Gaza. They then planted themselves in terror tunnels that they've spent billions of dollars building that they robbed from their own population underneath civilian populations, including the Al-Shifa hospital. They have hundreds of thousands of gallons of fuel underneath Al-Shifa Hospital being used solely and completely to fund their terrorism. And you say Hamas should not surrender. Now, here's the deal. The minute Hamas surrenders, the bloodshed stops. It is that simple. As far as the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian Authority has on its books laws that pay terrorists who kill Jews. They do get actual stipends that outgross the actual yearly earnings of Palestinians. Don't, don't shake your head at me when what you're saying is factually untrue. So, what is going to happen next after Hamas is gone? The answer very much depends on whether the Palestinians ever decide to put in place a government that is willing to not attempt to genocidally exterminate the Jews. Israel pulled out of the Gaza Strip in 2005 completely. There were no Jews in the Gaza Strip in 2006. The United Nations Security Council still considers them an effective occupier when they control the ports, the air spaces, all the ter territorial Okay, so, so number one, you have You're to control- You're incorrect. They're incorrect on that fact. On what that you're fact? You're presenting as a fact. On it's what not fact? A fact? They did pull out. They pulled out physically, but they oh, controlled. but not mentally or emotionally. <laughs> no. Okay. I just explained as, how they did as, pull out. As far as the ports, as far as the airspace, of course they have to prevent the shipment in of weaponry. Why? Because every single dollar that went into the Gaza Strip was used to build the greatest terror base on planet Earth, and we are watching the consequences of that right this very instant. Israel has complete air superiority over the Gaza Strip. If Israel truly wanted to commit what? human rights violation, they could literally turn the place quick, into quick glass tomorrow. Quick they are not doing that. Listen to me. The West Bank explained the settlements that Hamas's fault. What, uh, what no, first, okay, so first you need to, so first, can we finish with the, are we done with Gaza? 
We're done with Gaza. So now we're moving to the West Bank. I'm not going to separate them fully, no. Of course you're not going to separate them fully because you won't even say that Hamas should surrender. I'm not in charge of Hamas. That's such a ridiculous answer. I, I, I'm not. You're not in charge of Israel either, but you're dictating policy. <laughs> That's right. As far... You as far never, you never answered my question. I'm happy to answer your question. Do as far, Palestinians have the right to defend themselves? If by defend themselves you mean murder innocent civilians, then no, they do not. That. Well, clearly you do, because you don't want Hamas to surrender. No, That's what they are I doing. They are murdering that. innocent Israeli civilians. They're murdering innocent Palestinian civilians. They are murdering anyone they can find. They're literally shooting people on the roads from North Gaza to South Gaza right now to tell them to go back and act as human shields for their rockets. That is what Hamas is doing but right now, and you won't call on them to surrender. I'm done with this guy. But, We're no, done. Not, We're done. You're not done. We're done. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Goodbye. Ben's pissed. He's pissed at this guy. I just don't get it. I mean, the guy says terrorist is a, is a terrorist, you know, Hamas is a terrorist organization, but he doesn't want them to surrender. It seems to me that... Um, you know, if, if in the United States, if Canada was, was um, you know, wanting to kill Americans because we don't believe or we, we, we have a different belief, like we believe that uh, American flag is, is our American flag and Canadians might think, well, the American flag is not the American flag. I mean, wouldn't we want it? And if Canada was throwing terrorist groups into our organization, wouldn't we, wouldn't we need to defend ourselves? I think we would. We would. I think any community needs to defend themselves. And, and it seems to me that people get mis misunderstood with a group of bad people in a society that's trying to do harm to another society and and those people need to defend themselves that's kind of the way I look at it uh, I do think that uh, you know America should just kind of get out of the way and let them figure it out on their own I mean we need to support our own self here I mean our country is so far in debt that that we need to figure out our own finances here in the United States before we start sending money throughout the world um, all over the place. I don't know, it seems like the right thing to do, but Ben Shapiro does get a, does a good job of diffusing this uh, character at this university. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.